guys, it's Teacher A, how are you? And today we're gonna do question number four, yay! We're back on track, cause it's, the weekend's over, hip hip hooray! So I'm gonna start again, and this is question number four. Now, as you know, I use this gap book right here, and this has been written by Mr. Ibrahim Koshir and his scientific team of Dr. Mohammed Rafad, Mr. Hamdi, and Dr. Mustafa. Thank you, gentlemen, for the amazing book. And now let's begin with question number four. Now question number four, this is from page, I forgot to say that this is from page 21. Page 21. So if you have a book like this, the one that I just showed you, if you don't have one, you go buy one from Jareer. So uh, you turn to page 21 and you take, a look, you take a look at this problem here. This is the one that we're doing right now. So let's take a look what this problem is asking us. What is this problem asking us? Now, if you notice, it says one, one plus two plus three plus four plus, and then it has dot, 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 dot plus 100 equals, and then it says dot, 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 dot. So, there's no, they don't actually tell you what they want, but based on the evidence that we have, we can guess that they want you, that the gentlemen who have written this test want you to add all the numbers from one all the way up to dot, dot, dot to 100. Okay, that's what they want you to uh, calculate. Now, this is called the sum. Okay, they want you to get the sum of the numbers starting from 1 and ending to 100. And that's why I wrote my own little question right here. What is the sum of the numbers between 1 and 100? Okay, this is my question to myself. Based on the evidence, that the test is giving me, okay? So let's go ahead and do this problem together. All right, so now the formula, this is called a formula, and guess what you have to do with this? That's right, you have to memorize it. Now, S stands for sum. N is the number of terms between one and 100 And the formula says that if you take the number of terms between 1 and 100 and you multiply it with the number of terms plus 1, then divide it by 2, you will get the sum of all the numbers between 1 and 100. So let's go ahead and do it. Now, how many terms? We're looking for n now. And this is what you should be asking yourself when you are looking for n. How many terms do we have between 1 and 100? Well, let's see. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You keep going, you're going to get how much? 100. So n is equal to how much? Good. It's 100. So let's rewrite the um, formula. S is equal to n multiplied by n plus 1 over 2. Okay? Now, n we said is 100, so let's replace n with 100. S is equal to 100, open parentheses, 100 plus 1. We're replacing n here and n here with 100. Those are the number of terms divided by 2, okay? So first, we're going to do parentheses. What's inside the parentheses? Why? Because if you watch in my previous video, PEMDAS, do you know what PEMDAS means? PEMDAS is the uh, order of operations, the way, what order of operations comes first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So here we have parentheses come first, and that's why we're going to add we're going to add what's in inside the parentheses here. So how much is 100 plus 1? 
It's 101. 101. Okay. 101 multiplied by 100 again, divided by 2. All right. So then, based on PEMDAS, we have to do multiplication next. Because, do we have multiplication here? Yes, we do. So how much is 100 multiplied by 101? That's right. It's 10,100. If you do it on your calculators, but just by looking at it, you don't really need a calculator because when we multiply any number by 100, we just add two zeros at the end of the number. So what did I really, really, really do here? I kind of cheated, right? I took this number here, which was 101 from here, and then I added two zeros from the 100. You see what I did? Because, like I said before, any number multiplied by 100, you just add two zeros to it and you're done. That's how you calculate the uh, product or the multiplication between 100 and any number. You add two zeros to that number. And then you divide it by 2. Okay, so now we have uh, 10,100 divided by 2. Let's do it. Let's see what how much this will give you. Okay, we're going to do some long division. I know some of you hate long division. I know. I'm a, I've been a math teacher for a while now. And I know that some people just hate long division. Unfortunately, we have to do long division here. So, how much is um, uh, 1 divided by 2? You can't do it. You have to take... 10 divided by 2, okay? How much is 10 divided by 2? We want a number multiplied by, uh, that we will multiply to 2 to get 10, that will be 5. So 5 times 2 is 10, subtract, that will give you 0. We're done with that. Now, let's take a look at 1 here and let's bring it down. Okay, how much does 2 go into 1? Of course, there isn't a number that you can multiply 2 with to get a 1. So you put a 0 here because you, you can't find a 1 is too small. We cannot find two things in one thing. 1 is too small. So you put a 0. So now we multiply 0 times 2, which will give you 0, okay? Subtract, and this will give you 1. We're done with 1 now. So now let's take a look at the 0 here and bring it down. Now we have how much is 10... How much is 10 divided by 2? That's right. 5 mu multiplied by 2 will give us 10. Okay? And then 10 minus 10 will give us 0. But, oh, look at this. You see the 0 here? You have to bring it down. And you have to say, well, how much is 0 divided by 2? Of course, it's going to be 0. There we go now. We've got 0 times 2 is 0. And we are done with this division, and the answer is 5,050. Now, let's take a look at the problem that we were doing. That's right. The answer is 5,050. Remember, in order to do this problem, you have to memorize. What do you have to memorize? You have to memorize the formula that we use for finding the sum of uh, of the number of terms between two numbers, which is the sum is equal to the number of terms multiplied by the sum of the terms plus 1, then divided by 2. Memorize this formula and you'll be all right. I'll talk to you later in the next video, number 5. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.